The protests are drawing new attention to the death of a black man in Tacoma, Washington, caught on camera. Three months ago, Manuel Ellis died from oxygen deprivation after police physically restrained him. The 33-year-old man was heard on a police scanner saying, I can't breathe. The medical examiner ruled his death was a homicide. Ellis's family wants the officers to be arrested. Police say he threw an officer to the ground. Carter Evans reports on the investigation in the video showing the confrontation. A frightening scene as witness video captures Manuel Ellis's fatal encounter with police. Just arrest him! Oh my God, that looks so scary! Two white officers wrestled Ellis to the ground and held him there. You get it again. Put your hands behind your back. He was later declared dead at the scene. As I watched that video, I became even more enraged. Overnight, Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodard's called for all the officers involved to be fired. While I am mayor, I am still black. I am still treated as an African-American woman. I am still looked at as an African-American woman. And my life could be taken. And today, it stops in Tacoma. He was so, like, sweet and loving, and he would always give me, like, the biggest hugs. CBS News spoke to Ellis's sister, Monet, alongside Sarah McDowell, who filmed the incident. And they're just, like, tearing in at him. For what? He wasn't even doing anything. Officers say they got into a struggle with Ellis after he repeatedly struck their patrol car and assaulted one of them. But McDowell disputes that, saying Ellis was just walking down the street when the officers got out of their car and body slammed him. It looked like he had full pressure all on his body. He just looks like he can't breathe. There was no heads on knees. There was no cutting off of circulation, none of that. Pierce County Detective Ed Troyer says the officers involved were placed on leave after the incident but defended their actions. Throughout the process, he had trouble breathing, and he told people, I can't breathe. They put him on the side, called for medical aid. James Bible, who represents Manuel Ellis's family, is now calling for an independent investigation by the state of Washington. The law enforcement agencies that have been investigating this have utterly failed this family and this community. For CBS This Morning, I'm Carter Evans.